So the fact is, is that you cannot assess anybody else because you don't know his whole story. It's very important to know that. And there's a famous story with Rav Levi Yitzchak of Barditchev. Rav Levi Yitzchak of Barditchev, he was a very holy Jew, and one of the people in the neighborhood, we'll call him Mr. Berkowitz, he passed away, he died, and Rav Levi Yitzchak was going to the funeral. Now, this Mr. Berkowitz was a miser. Everybody knew he had money, but he never gave any charity. Anytime there was a collection for the yeshiva, never showed up. When there was a collection for the mikvah, he never showed up. Never gave any money. And Rav Levi Yitzchak is going to the funeral. They say, Rabbi, why are you going to this funeral? This guy is a, he's a nothing. He says, I want you to know, I was sitting as a judge on a court a few times, and every single time this man came to court, he lost. Every time. So they said, okay, so he's a loser. So then why exactly are you going to his funeral? He says, let me tell you a story. There was a man in this neighborhood that was doing very bad. He wasn't doing well financially. He didn't know how to tell his wife that they're broke. He didn't know how to say it to his wife that they're broke. So he just wrote a letter and he said, I'm going away. I'm going to make money. In those days, you don't just get out of plane. You get out of boat. My might back in two years. He wrote a letter. I have an idea. I'm going overseas. Um, don't worry about it. You're financially secure. I made an arrangement with the fellow down the block at the corner. He will supply you with your needs every Friday. He'll give you money for the week. And he leaves. Leaves. She comes home. She sees the letter. And um, she's like, okay, my poor husband. He's got to make money. So she goes down the street. Of course, the guy never told the fellow down the street. Didn't tell anybody. He just had to bail because he was so embarrassed. He just bailed. So this lady goes down the street, knocks on the door. I open says, "How can I help you?" She goes, "Oh, um, you know, so and so just came for the money." He says, uh, "What what money?" You know, my, my husband said that he arranged with you while he's away on on business that you're going to take care of the finances. And he realized that obviously this husband fooled her, and this husband never said anything, and this poor lady is standing in front of him. So he says, "Oh, right, sure, of course, come right in, come right in." He takes out an envelope, puts some cash in it, and he says, here you go. We'll see you next week. And this went on for a whole year, a year and a half. And sure enough, the husband came back. Now, this husband was petrified because he knew he left his wife without a penny, and his wife, he didn't tell anybody to take care of her. So he knew that she was going to kill him when he opened the door. But Baruch Hashem, he made money, and he opens the door, and she greets him. Oh, welcome back. So good to see you. I missed you. Come and sit down for dinner. Thank you so much for arranging all that money. I was taken care of for a year and a half. He was like, what? Were you water? He's just like, can't believe it. So, after dinner, he runs down the block and knocks on the guy's door. And he says, you took care of my wife a year and a half? He said, yeah. He says, but why? He says, well, I, uh, she knocked on my door. And she told me that we made up something. I figured, I don't know, but she's a desperate woman and she has no money. So I figured, I'll take care of it. He said, oh my gosh, you're such a righteous man. But don't worry, I just made a lot of money overseas. Just give me the final, final bill, I'll pay up. He goes, no, I don't want your money. He says, but what do you mean? You laid out the money. He goes, yeah, but I want the mitzvah. I want the mitzvah. I took care of someone for a year and a half. Why would I want to give that up? He's like, yeah, but it's my wife. I got to take care of her. He goes, yeah, but it's my mitzvah. I'm not giving it back to you. Yeah. So I want to do that. So what does that mean? <laughs> right? Give me the So they went to court. They went to court to relieve Yitzchak, and he lost. This nice man lost. He had to give. He had to uh, <laughs> take receive the money. And Rav Yitzchak said, "But that's the guy that I'm going to his funeral right now." He did that for many people. He took care of many people behind the scenes, but he never publicized it. He didn't want any honor. So while people look at him as a nebuch, people look at him as a sad guy. Meanwhile, he was a very holy Jew, but we just didn't know. And that is the funeral he went to. So this can happen many times when we judge somebody. A lot of times we don't know everyone what really is going on, what he's doing privately.